perfect interlude to welcome one of the most amazing ladies in the industry. Um, I think you might know as Felicity Daniels, the fashion designer <laughs> on Siemen de Lan. But of course, Melanie Dubois is an incredible actress and just an amazing voice within the industry. And she's joining us here today to broach a very important discussion a little bit later this morning. But right now, just to catch up because she's an old friend and she's awesome. Uh, Mel, welcome back. Thank you so much. It's so wonderful to see you again, Graham. Um, you know, the best thing was watching you in those gorgeous heels make your way across the studio silently <laughs> like a cat. Um, we, we love you because we've obviously gotten to know you as a character, yes, but yeah. when you play a character for that long um, in a, a soap that so many people are so emotionally invested yes. in, you start to live through that character. It's the only way. I, I, you guys are so natural and you're so good and there's such a click. How, how do you sum up your relationship with Felicity? Is is it you? Is it your best mate? Is it a sister? How do you kind of put her into perspective? She's like, she's like my role model, okay? Oh, I want to cool. be like Felicity. She's this strong, amazing woman, has been through so much in life and yet she still goes on. Um, and that, I think, speaks volumes about what you have to do as an as an actress in this industry. People have this perception that it's um, it's all glam and it's this amazing um, career, but it's it's about hard work. It's about yeah. rising to the challenges. What yes. are some of the challenges of playing a character for that long, keeping it fresh, keeping viewers engaged, and also the the, the expectation because you know you're a part of people's lives. What, what was for me hectic was that. Felicity grew every day, so it was like I was living the life and going through all the challenges with her, so it was just like a part of life for me. Felicity became like one of my best friends, because we would go through things together, we would cry together, we would laugh together, we would be in love together, so, you know, as much as it's challenging, it's just so much fun. You go to work and you get to play. And you get to, and that's why they call it playing, yes. because you really are. You're going into this this other dimension. So now, who's this Renelle? Oh, this this new girl on yeah, the baby. block, Aaron Slay. Aaron Slay. Which uh, uh, another fantastic role yes. to sink your teeth into. What's that transition uh, transition been like? It's been amazing for me. I think it was a natural transition. It's a total new beginning for me. I'm living now in the Western Cape. Um, we're doing a, a totally brown production and it's brown stories and I think this is what I was made to do, man. It really, it's, it's my calling. I love, I love everything about her. We don't want to say that you're a poster child, but you have to, unfortunately. In this country, you are who you are. You represent your culture, you represent your race, and then the added pressure of knocking down uh, boundaries and barriers and you've got to be all that because we are politicized and, yes. and maybe that's a good thing. Um, do you feel that pressure now? Why is this such a, a beautiful opportunity for you, do you think, at this stage in your life? It's, it's not pressure for me, I must say. Um, it's about time. It's about time that this has happened. So there's no pressure. It's like it's what's supposed to have happened. Everything has its time. Everything has its season. And this is the season for this to happen. It's, it's about time. What do you have to tell yourself? Because you, you've got to get into these characters. I've, I've had the opportunity to, to play a character on a soap and just for like a day or two mm -hmm. and get into that and yes. it's a well-oiled machine but yes. there is no time to sit and sink into your character and get in, you just got to hit the ground running and do it you've got to get through massive workloads so yes. how do you do that what is what is that thing you say to yourself to become Renelle who is she Melanie's all this erratic and sometimes all <laughs> over the place and, ah, I love you Renelle's very calm so when I enter makeup um, that 15 minutes, you basically just get into the zone, get into the calmness, get into the zen, and just become her. It's amazing how even the body transformation, because I'm like a sloucher, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, baby. And then Renal is very, you know, au public. And um, it's just amazing how you feel that character, you feel that person, and you become that person. Makeup, hair, and then you're in your wardrobe, and there's Renal, and she's there. 
Because you're a pro. Because oh, you're baby. one of the Just like you. best in <laughs> the like business, you. baby. <laughs> um, but of course, you have for a very important discussion a little bit later. Debisa and I are going to be chatting about bipolar disorder. It's part of Mental, um, health, uh, mental uh, health Awareness Month. Had so many important conversations. I think, I believe, we all sit on the spectrum in one way or another. And um, this is something that might be affecting you an opportunity, a safe place for us to engage, to talk, to remove some of the stigma and educate ourselves. So thank you so much for joining us for that. Mm -hmm. We'll continue this chat with Mel in just a moment.